just hate hiding all the time. Feeling like everybody's whispering about me. Is that her? My mama says her whole family are Satanists. So Beautiful Creatures takes place in South Carolina, and you were born in South Carolina, right? Yes, yes I was. So true or false, South Carolina is filled with casters and underground libraries. Absolutely. You yes. didn't know that? <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> My mother's a keeper. So is mine, but of Kleenex. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, I'll tell you what the South is steeped in. It's steeped in superstition. Right. It was a minefield of superstition in our house. So. Do you still hang on to some? Absolutely, absolutely. I still do not stare in the mirror in the dark for long periods of time really? because I'm afraid to turn into a baboon. That's one? That was one, that if you <gasps> stared long enough that you would transform into a monster. And when I was a kid, I was terrified. Oh, my God. I mean terrified. I'm terrified right now. Um, yep. Cami, I hear that you are superstitious. I am super superstitious. We got our agent on a full moon. We went to auction on a full moon. We got the call about Richard on a full moon, and we made our, we accepted our auction deal with Warner Brothers on the phone on a full moon. Is it coming out on a full moon, do you think? Um, I don't know, but it's coming out on Valentine's Day, which is a pretty lucky day. Well, when you get lucky? Oh. Are you a witch? No. <sighs> I mean, calling us witches is like calling the smart kids geeks or the athletes jocks. We prefer the term caster. A love story you can actually believe, even though it's magical, mm -hmm. right? Like yeah. you still, I bought it hook, line, and sinker. Yeah, yeah well, I think that's what we were attracted to as well, was that um, when you took away the spectacle of the fantasy, you still could believe these people, and you still liked mm -hmm. them anyway. Yeah, and it really is such a character-driven film. It's mm -hmm. so much about these people and what they're going through, and that's, what guides all of the magic is just an mm. expression of that more than in a more than some kind of side Device, like, yeah you know? the idea of love fascinates me because it's so there's so many different kinds and there could be this amazing feeling and then it's gone or it can turn to hate or it could be this other kind of love that lasts a long time but it's not as passionate and i just don't understand love and i think i keep making movies to try and figure out all the all the, the parts of it Ethan! Do I know you? Not a bit. I really do, Kane. Can we talk for a second about lace dress, corset, turtleneck, Louisiana humidity? That was yes. very sweaty. D that was full-on fierce, and I was like, I'm sure you lost 18 pounds while you we were did. that. We did. Emma Thompson and I were literally, like, paper toweling our legs. It was disgusting. <laughs> Everybody thinks that making movies is so glamorous. It's not. Please no. tell me that in real life you own something like a smoking jacket. Well, I do have a smoking jacket, yes. yes. I don't wear it very often. Really? You should wear it all the time. Should I? Yes. I don't live that sort of life. What sort of life would it require? Because I feel like every day Jeremy Irons needs a smoking jacket. Mm, no, Jeremy Irons doesn't live that sort of life. He, he's usually out riding his horse or um, sailing his boat or tr clumping around the fields in corduroys and old sweaters with holes in them. May I suggest that once all of those things are done, you return home and put on the smoking jacket because you deserve it. I don't think Mrs. Irons would allow that. She would like me to put on my kitchen apron and make the dinner. <laughs> How awful was wearing a Civil War reenactment costume in that humidity in Louisiana? Oh, I'm so glad that you took that into consideration because it was rough. What was really interesting was the juxtaposition between weather patterns. There was a tornado warning and we had to stop shooting. Um, we were running through the field um, and also all the women were wearing um, full period piece costumes and we couldn't get in the bus and there was, it was a, we could see the tornado. Did anyone at any point blame Seraphine? <laughs> yes, of course. Several blamed Alice. Like, she Alice, was like, sorry guys. Did you get the wrong lunch? Like those were all the jokes. Like, <laughs> did you get the wrong lunch? What's the matter, girl? Like 